most people know about Ocean Forest Hotel, but they don't realize the Ocean Forest Hotel is just part of uh, the overall plan. Myrtle Beach's magnificent Ocean Forest Hotel opened formally on Friday evening, February 21st, 1930. The hotel, standing 29 feet above sea level with a 10-story wedding cake tower flanked by two five-story wings with South Carolina's Statue of Liberty. Together with the gardens, pools, and the stables, the hotel occupied 13 acres. Amenities such as marble stairways, Czechoslovakian crystal chandeliers, Gratian columns, faucets that dispense salt water to the 202 ventilated bathrooms. Oriental rugs in the marble floor lobby, the grand ballroom, and dining room all attested to the Ocean Forest's inclusion among an exclusive list of world-class hotels. High standards of etiquette were the rule. Gentlemen never entered the dining room without a tuxedo. Ladies wore evening gowns. By the 1940s and 50s, patrons altered their lifestyle and the Ocean Forest Hotel changed with the times. Resort attire was accepted. More significant in that you have one of the, the finest built buildings built by, engineered and designed by one of the greatest architects in the country in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And then it provided a first for so many people. You know, first to see a movie star, first to see a big band, first to wear a tuxedo, first to probably have your first mixed drink, first to see a bartender mix a drink, first to see you might have got your first kiss on the veranda or had your, your uh, honeymoon there, your wedding there, your first prom, your first gala, your first ball. So it was, it was the first of uh, many things for all of us. And the Ocean Forest Country Club, which today is Pine Lakes Country Club. During the 1960s, the owners of the hotel declined to make much needed improvements. The Ocean Forest showed signs of neglect. The hotel closed its doors in June 1974. On Friday the 13th of September 1974, explosives were situated around the hotel. The 10-story building that had taken a year and a half to build was reduced to a pile of rubble in six seconds. It was uh, well worth keeping. It's a shame we don't have it. It's almost a sin it's gone. And uh, in my mind, it's still up there buried in the sand.